Hello, uh, welcome back to Introduction to Astronomy. My name is Paul Eric, and I teach uh, physics and astronomy at Ozarks Technical Community College in Springfield, Missouri. And uh, this set of uh, lessons is the video version of what I teach my students in Introduction to Astronomy. So today we want to be talking about lesson number 10, which is on planetary geology. So in the previous lesson, we learned where the solar system came from. And uh, we're just about ready to start talking about the terrestrial planets, which is going to be uh, Mercury and Venus, Earth and Mars. But before we can do that, we need to learn about geology. So this is a 16-week uh, course in geology crunched down into one lesson. So here's what uh, you should learn by the time that you get finished with this lesson. Number one, uh, name the two most important elements that are found in the universe, the two most important elements found in the Earth, and then the two most important elements that are found in the Earth's crust. You should be able to explain what a mineral is, uh, explain what an igneous rock is, be able to identify an igneous rock, and specifically know about the igneous rocks, granite and basalt. Uh, explain what physical and chemical weathering is, uh, explain what a sedimentary rock is, and uh, in particular, you should know about limestone. Uh, then explain what a metamorphic rock is, explain how one kind of a rock can be turned into another kind of a rock given the right pressures and temperatures and compositions. Uh, explain what is it that heats up the inside and the outside of a planet. Uh, explain the concept of density. Explain what uh, heat conduction, convection, and radiation are. Uh, explain what causes a planet to differentiate into different layers. Uh, name and describe the different layers of the inside of the Earth. Uh, explain what lithospheric plates are, and then uh, be able to draw a divergent zone, a convergent zone, and a transform uh, zone, and be, a, it, be able to explain the different kinds of geological features that are created by each of these different kinds of plate interactions. And then also you should know what a hot spot is. And then uh, be able to draw the magnetic field of the Earth and explain what causes it. And then recognize different surface features on a planet and explain what causes them. So this is a pretty extensive lesson and we're going to break this down into a whole bunch of little pieces. So your resources. So in your textbook, uh, read chapter 7 and then uh, you'll notice that there is a whole lot of different videos that you can be watching on geology. So there is a Crash Course episode, Crash Course Astronomy on the Earth, and then there is a, a video on YouTube called Plate Tectonics Brain Pop that might be interesting. Uh, and um, that, but there is a complete video series on geology, if you're interested in this. So this is found at the Earth Revealed, and this is found www.learner.org, and you'll find this complete video series. Each of these videos is about 30 minutes long, and it covers every aspect of geology. Now, we're only going to be interested in one of these, the one that says plate dynamics. So if there's any of those videos that you should be watching, it would be that one. But if you like this geology stuff, feel free to watch the rest of those videos. Okay, we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to start with, well, what are our starting elements to begin with? I'll see you in just a moment. 